video and now you're sneezing? Hey party people. Is you finished or is you done? Hey party people, what's up? Welcome back. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see first for, or I guess next, for my video this week, wedding update or becoming a blogger because I've gotten a lot of questions on both and you guys were like, nah girl, we don't care about being a blogger. Let us know what's happening with this wedding. And just so that we can address it, I am sitting somewhere different. I am not in my regular filming room. I was sick and tired of seeing the like, just plain gray walls with like the desk behind me that you really can't see. And so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna film in my bedroom because it's been a long day at work, clearly by what's happening. Hello. And I, got, I just really wanted to sit on my bed. <laughs> But before I forget, make sure to click that big red subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is three times a week. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That is my schedule now. So just click the big red subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload. And let's just get into the video. So this video is actually going to be focused around things I'm doing different at my wedding or our wedding, which is what I keep calling it my wedding because I'm planning it, but it's our wedding. So these are the 12 things I'm going to be doing differently at my wedding that may or may not be normal um, today. I don't know, I mean, I don't see these things that I'm doing as like super normal for weddings, but I mean, it doesn't make me like unique and special because I'm doing different things at my wedding. Like it's just things that either I have left out because I just think they're dumb or um, things that I just changed because that's just how I wanted them. But yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. So the first thing that I'm doing differently at my wedding is I'm wearing two hairstyles. So that may not be super abnormal, but I am doing an updo for my ceremony and then I'm going to change my hair um, and have it completely down for the reception. The reason being is because I couldn't decide whether I liked my hair up or down and then I bought my veil and it weighs about seven pounds. <laughs> It's a really heavy veil. I wore it for my bridals this weekend and it kept falling off my head. It, it kept falling off my head, so I'm going to be wearing my hair up for the ceremony with the veil so that it stays, taking the veil off, letting my hair down, and wearing my hair down for the reception. So I'm doing two hairstyles at my wedding, not just one. The second thing that I'm doing is probably my favorite of everything of the whole entire wedding day. One of my favorite things is I'm going to be eating with just my new husband, now fiance, Sam, um, after the ceremony is over with just him and I. That's something that my um, venue coordinator has actually said that she can't stand is when like a bride and groom don't get to sit down and eat. So what we'll do is after the ceremony, we're gonna go upstairs, we'll be in the bridal suite. There's a cute little table with chairs there. She's gonna make sure that all of our food is already up there and just him and I are going to sit together and eat as husband and wife for the very first time, kind of reminisce on what's happening while everyone else is downstairs kind of shuffling around, getting their food, getting their drinks. Um, and it will be just him and I, and we'll just get to have a few special moments to ourselves. And I'm so excited for that part of the wedding because we'll be front and center all day long and you know, you'll be super busy and you always hear that like your wedding day, you just go, go, go. And it's like over in the blink of an eye and you never really get like two seconds to calm down. I'm excited to just sit down with my husband and have just, I guess, dinner. And ugh, I'm just, I can't wait for that one. Next thing that I am not doing at my wedding at all is actually a money saver and I will tell you why. We are not doing programs. Okay, I changed y'all's position a little bit because I realized I couldn't see my head. But we are not doing programs. I went to a wedding recently and I was holding a program in my hand and I was like, cool, I know the bridesmaids and the groomsmen's name, but which one's which? And it was just a piece of paper that like people threw away after. I'm doing a lot of like the uh, signs and stuff myself because I have an art degree. So I'm like doing a lot of that stuff myself for the wedding. And so I was just like, you know what? I really don't want to design another thing. I don't want to do a program. I think they're a waste of money. I think they're a waste of time. People kind of see them and they're like, oh, that's cute. And then you move on. Like people don't need to know what the name of the song is. Like, you know, it's not a super huge deal. So we are not doing programs because I just think it's like silly. It's not necessary and it will also save money. So that's a good thing. The next thing that we are doing is we are having a formal wedding. I feel like I hear of this a lot, but the people that I talk to and I tell them we're having a formal wedding, they're like, why? That's like so different. Our venue is very formal. 
our like the time we're getting married is technically considered a formal wedding my dress is very formal the suit that he's picked out is very formal so we just decided to have a formal wedding i guess what you would actually call it is like formal or black tie optional but to be completely honest i feel like black tie optional can confuse some people so we have just said formal um but yeah we're having a formal wedding it's going to be super fun it's after five o'clock in the evening in a very formal um, plantation home and it is gorgeous and I mean that's pretty much the only thing that's gonna be formal on our wedding because like I'm trying to have fun and like shake my butt all night okay let's just be honest I ain't trying to dance formally I'm trying to shake my honey speaking of shaking my honey I feel like the cha-cha slide and all that stuff is like done to death so I have asked that our DJ do maybe like two songs that are like cha-cha slide and the wop or whatever it's called because I feel like when you get to a point when like everybody's kind of dancing at the ceremony if you just play those songs that's gonna take up so much time I went to a wedding recently that's all that was played was like those four those dance songs that like everybody knows the dances to and that's like the same music that's played at every single thing and so like I told my DJ I was like look I want to be like shaking my butt one minute and like slow dancing and like thinking sweet thoughts the second minute and then back to shaking my butt the next minute I'm, I'm trying to have fun and dance my booty off at my wedding and I just don't want to wop all night okay I just don't want to wop it's not me not me another thing we are not doing at the reception is we are not doing speeches so I, I keep feeling like I'm saying I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that and I'm not doing that because to me, I'm just trying to eliminate all of the things that could prevent legitimate, absolute fun at a wedding. I feel like when you when you hear certain music and you're like, okay, I have to dance to this because I know this, it's like forced fun. And so like I want people to just like relax and kind of dance in whatever way they want. And so we're not, you know, doing the typical dances. The next thing we're not doing is speeches. We are actually going to be doing our speeches the night before at the rehearsal dinner. So like the best man will give a speech. I've asked one of my bridesmaids to give a speech because my matron of honor refuses, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then like, I guess maybe my parents will give a speech. I don't know. And then, um, I mean, I would like to say something, but we're not doing that at the reception because again, I feel like so many brides and grooms are just like put on a schedule. Okay. You've taken your pictures. Now you have to do this. Now you have to have your first dances. Now you have to have your first drink. Now you have to cut your cake. Now, and like, you never get to just sit and enjoy your time together at your wedding with your guests because you're always feeling like you're having to do something. So we've eliminated the speeches also because the people that we have like asked to give speeches, I mean, I would love to give a speech at a wedding, but at the same time, like I think it would be so weird to give a speech to like 200 people. And it's so much easier to give a speech to like 30 people who like really know and love the bride and groom and are very close to them. So that's why we're doing our speeches at the rehearsal dinner the night before. So if you are attending our wedding, don't worry. You will not have to see any awkward long speeches. With that being said, we are also not doing a garter toss. I am doing a bouquet toss, but we are not doing a garter toss. That was actually a prayer request of my fiance. He kind of had a point. He said it makes me a little uncomfortable to like stick my hands or my face or whatever up your dress and get something down in front of all of our family. My fiance is a very shy, like very private person. And so I get that, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. So I would be doing my bouquet toss to, you know, potentially the next married girl. And he will not be doing a garter toss, which probably means I won't be wearing a garter, but I'm not sad about that. One thing I am totally doing different at my wedding because I have heard so many stories, especially recently with like, I know so many people getting married of hellish brides, like just the worst brides being so mean to the bridesmaids and not letting them have any say, making them do a lot of things. I'm letting my bridesmaids have a lot of say. I feel like that's something every bride should do and that's why I've included it in this video of things I'm doing different at my wedding because I am totally letting my bridesmaids like take the rein. The only thing I really picked out was their shoes and their flowers and I'm still kind of letting them have a say in that. So. Um, my girls got all together and they all got to pick out their dresses, their bridesmaids dresses. I was there and of course I kind of said, you know, this is the color I would like for you to wear. They all agreed, but they together made the decision on what dresses they wanted to wear to the wedding. I'm letting them completely pick their hair. They don't even have to tell me what their hair looks like. I just asked that they, it all be the same. And I told them, I was like, if you want your hair to be in pigtails and you think that that looks good, go for it and you put your hair in pigtails. I don't care. 
It's not my hair. I know what I'm doing with my hair. You can do whatever you want with your hair. So my bridesmaids get a lot of say. They get to pick out their jewelry. Like, they get to pick out what nail color they wear. They get to pick out pretty much everything involved in the wedding that has to do with them because I'm a bridesmaid soon and like she's been an amazing bride and has kind of let us do our own thing and I know that it means a lot to us that like she's kind of letting us you know pick our dresses and pick our hair and do our own makeup because we'll all feel really comfortable and that's what's kind of important is like at the end of the day you still want your friends to feel comfortable and loved and happy and thankful to be a part of your day and you don't want them to be like oh my god hate my friend she's like the worst friend ever because she's so controlling about one day so the next thing is actually one of my favorites apart from like being able to eat with my husband after we get married but the number one thing that people are like whoa you're doing that at your wedding is I do not have a maid of honor I only have a matron of honor and she is my mother um, I see a lot of rooms who have their father as the best man and I love that like I love that boys can sit and be like, oh yeah, my dad's my best friend. I want him to be my best man. I was like, well, my mom's my best friend. Why can't she be my matron of honor? And I think in some way people look at it as like the mother of the bride, apart from the bride and the groom is like, truthfully, she is the next most important person, which is, is very true. So I think maybe when you look at a mother as a matron of honor, you see that as like lesser than, but that's not the case. My mother was gonna help me plan my wedding anyway. I would love for nobody more than my mother to be standing directly beside me as I marry the man of my dreams. So I asked my mommy to be my matron of honor, and she said yes, and it also helps that she has a banging body, and she looks really good in the dress that like all of the bridesmaids are wearing. She's wearing a dress that's like a different style, but not that different. She looks good in it, so. So this is also something that I recently decided on. I don't know if my dad knows this yet or not, but you know, usually it's customary for a bride to walk down the aisle with her father, but I will be walking down the aisle with my father, walking back up with my husband after we are pronounced husband and wife, and then I'm going to go back down the aisle and get my father. The reason being is because my mother will be my matron of honor, and so she will obviously walk back up the aisle with the best man, and that kind of leaves my dad high and dry, and I'm big daddy's girl, and so I think it would just mean a lot to like both him and I that like I go get him after the ceremony and like walk him back up the aisle, so that's something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk down with him and walk back up, and I'm very excited. So finally, the last thing that I'm going to be doing differently at my wedding that I feel like is actually more common today, and kudos to you brides who are making this happen at your wedding, I am going to have fun. I'm not going to stress out. I actually saw myself, I had my bridals this past weekend, and I got to see myself as a bride for the very first time, and I'm not going to lie to you, it was scary. Um, standing there in a wedding dress and a veil with the flowers in my hand, you know, I realized that's something you wait your entire life for is like, you know, a little girl, you're like, oh, I just want to be a bride. And I was standing there and looking in the mirror and I was like, whoa, I'm actually a bride. This is really here. But it also hit me that yes, it's a wedding, but it's a marriage. That is one day. And above all, there is one thing that is going to happen on that wedding day, get married. And if I am married at the end of May 26th, 2018, I've had a great day because that's all I really want. People are always asking me, oh, you're getting married outside. What will you do if it rains? I will get wet. We will just get wet. Guests, bring an umbrella because we gonna get wet because I'm getting married in the rain. What will you do if the flowers aren't right? The flowers just won't be right. We'll tell people that's what we picked. They won't know. What will you do if something messes up? Like I said, as long as I'm married, that's all that matters. I'm going to have fun at my wedding. I can't cannot wait to marry Sam. I am so excited and I just, I feel like in a way all of these things, I'm you know making this video so that hopefully you guys can kind of see that like we can totally break tradition. You don't have to do everything that everybody's doing at weddings. Everybody has opinions about your wedding and wants to tell you what you have to do. Oh, you have to do this. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is get married that day to the love of your life, and if you can do that, then the rest of it is just tiny, minor details. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what video you want to see next. Make sure you go below and click the big red subscribe button so you get notified when I upload, which like I said, is three times a week. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.